Hi, so I just got this lithium battery from my iRoomba and I wanted to go through some of the instructions that it mentions uh, because I, I, I think for the most part some of the stuff I've read on the forum people have not been aware of them. So I'm going to go ahead and go through some of the instructions here. So you'll notice the the first thing it tells you is that the Roomba has to be charged for eight hours. That this, I mean, this lithium battery has to be charged for eight hours. So make sure you do that. The second thing is that uh, the battery might have to be reactivated uh, because uh, if it hasn't been used for a long time. So the way to do that, it says, is different for each model. So for model 770, it says you have to push and hold the clean button for 10 seconds. However, for uh, a model in the 500 series, it says here for the 530, you have to hold down the spot and dock for uh, 10 seconds. So this restarting the Roomba is different than uh, shutting it on and off. It's actually sort of like resetting it. Uh, so make sure you do that, uh, you know, regardless. And uh, here is the specs on it that it does um, it, it, it does charge for three or four hours. But one thing you have to be aware of is the Roomba itself goes on a cleaning cycle. So my Roomba, the 500 series, the clean cycle is about 45 minutes. And regardless of, uh, you know, how, but, but the battery life is an hour. But regardless of how much battery life there is, after 45 minutes, it'll actually stop and try to go back to the docking. Uh, so even though this battery lasts for three, four hours, um, you, you might have to re you might have to push clean again to do a second uh, kind of um, a cleaning cycle uh, be, because it, it just it just goes on the iRoomba goes on a cleaning cycle not on how much batteries remaining so make sure uh, you're aware that even though this battery is supposed to last three four hours my NIM battery the stock battery that comes with the iRoomba lasts for an hour so and in my other videos I'll be testing that and I'll be uh, basically uh, showing you whether that's the case that it actually lasts three four hours or I'll, I'll give you the time of, of exactly how much it lasts um, but in any case uh, just be aware of these couple of things uh, it does say here that once the battery is drained when it goes to the red uh, indicators that it will go back and it will dock uh, if you have the docking station turned on so um, you know, just be aware of those things. Um, and the battery, this battery does come with a regulator for safety, which is why you have to reactivate it uh, if it's uh, been inactive for a long time. So, um, which requires that restart of your Roomba. Uh, the, the other thing that uh, I, I've heard about this battery is that uh, there is 800 power cycles versus the 200 power cycles of the other batteries, of, of the NIM battery, the stock battery. So um, it basically lasts four times longer as far as recharge and charge and discharge cycles, as well as um, just the length of time you could operate it for, you know, four hours versus, um, you know, uh, I, I guess only one hour. So you're getting four times the run time and, and basically another four times the charge time. So, you know, I, I don't know if you consider that a 16 time uh, cost benefit ratio compared to um, basically, you know, the, the stock battery. So, but in, in any case, um, that's all I wanted to mention about the instructions of this battery. And uh, stay tuned for my battery on performance and also uh, the actual runtime and my comparison of the batteries side by side. Thank you for watching.